So currently reviewing the next image here on my platform, uh, meant for photographers to learn from me. And all these are subscribers who have joined my online photography course, the all-in-one pack. Now Vivek, uh, let me come to your image directly. So, I mean, I decided to do a detailed review of your image because of the effort what you have put in to learn the whole course step by step and then trying to implement it in this particular image. So let me move this this side. Okay, uh, I think your approach is good where you are trying to go through the course even though you joined in January, you are posting now asking for feedback which is good because you are going through the course in detail and I can see the way you are basically experimenting and implementing and a quick word, the image what you have posted here, I mean like this is good. The learning, everything you've implemented, this is really good. And I also saw that you're still not done post-processing on the image. And this is the raw file uh, compressed and posted because you are it to go through the post-processing. No issues. I'm going to help you with that. Now, looking through each of the details, I think you have an entry-level camera, which is the Nikon D5200, with just, a, again, a kit lens, basic lens, 55300 shot it at ISO 100 and you clearly mentioned that because it was bright afternoon like you are using uh, ISO 100 because of 1 by 500 shutter speed what you are getting. White balance you mentioned it as auto. Yes, my recommendation is start putting in the manual white balance. Of course, in your case, since it is the entry level, the manual white balance may not be available, but no issues. Try to go ahead and put the nearest one. So for this, the daylight probably would have worked but I'll show you how you can basically tweak it. And uh, yes, so matrix metering you have done and uh, yes, matrix metering is good even though you said probably like center weighted would have worked well, not necessarily. So matrix metering is good and in that like you should have done a little bit of under exposure. So an exposure compensation of minus 0 0.7 would have worked well in this case or even minus one probably would have been given really nice contrast and colors. So you mentioned the exposure compensation is zero. That is one correction what you should do. Focusing point is fine. And you said like just five to seven feet it was there. And the key intention was to practice the shallow depth of field and sharpness. I think you have achieved that. And uh, let me quickly uh, go through the image and give you the inputs. Yes, this is beautiful backlit you have used. Very nice. So background, if you see a little bit of thing, uh, what you will have to keep in mind with the background is, so these kind of distractions, you see the split background here like this. So that is something which you have to see how you can avoid. So change the angle and try to get a nice complementary background, which I keep telling. So that is one thing which is missing. Otherwise, it's still an amazing image what you have over here. Okay, uh, because the background except for that other things is good. The key thing which I like is basically the way you have composed it, one behind the other, vertical composition and down the two leaves coming out like this. I think oral composition is really good. So let me quickly show you this image. I have basically like copied it in Lightroom and also like I have imported that image in Lightroom. Lightroom course coming soon, not to worry. So let's get on to the Lightroom. So I have this image. So. I'm going to go into the develop model for this particular image and uh, let me move to the side. Okay, there you go. So here, if you see temperature wise, uh, so little bit under exposure I do. Okay. And uh, contrast, let's check it up a little. I think it's because of the recording. Uh, this is happening. Okay, back here. Uh, so still looking at the image, little bit under exposure I did, which you should have done minus 0.7, I showed you. I did it, so in processing contrast, little bit to have uh, increase. So white balance, I think is fine, not to worry. So blacks, let me just increase, decrease the blacks. Let me get my mouse back on the image. Yes, yeah, so it's back. Uh, so just sorry for this flickering which is happening but yes so the blacks again i got it let's increase the vibrance a little little bit vibrance i increased here so then whites probably like i may want to increase the whites a little bit okay there you go so with basic steps of post-processing all these things you can do it even in photoshop plus adobe camera Raw as well so with all this very basic setting of the camera 
So if you compare the image over here, the before and after, okay, got it, uh, reference review, okay, what this, yep, there you go, okay. So the before and after, if you see with very basic corrections, I mean, I can see a good improvement in the image, the colors, the white balance, uh, contrast of the image, exposure, I basically like uh, modified. So if you look at the before after, so this is what you need to go through when it comes to the post-processing course, okay? So beautiful image, let me just go back to, and of course, currently I'm not gonna save it. So let's go back to the main image. So here you go. So I'm trying baby steps to enter into the world of wildlife photography in future, I had to go through most of the course, not to worry, take your time. So you want to give, uh, need some input, other things. So there you go. So wanted to give this detailed input because the kind of effort you have put in to provide all the information, the background of the image, everything, that is what I want to know from everybody so that I can give better inputs for you to improve. So uh, keep clicking, keep practicing all those things, go through the course and all the best.